Hello everyone, I'm really glad to introduce to you my mapping of the DDJ-1000 for Tractor. I've been working on this project for several weeks now and after many many attempts I'm really glad uh, to present to you my final project. I would like to say that I got inspired by uh, several people that I would like to acknowledge. Uh, Pedro Estrella with his uh, number 7 version of uh, his mapping for the same controller. Uh, so you will see that there are some similarities with um, his mapping. I would like to thank uh, Ian Golden from Digitech Tool because I've got inspired by his macro FX concepts. I would like to thank also uh, Dave from Digital Vinyl and Expert for his concept of uh, double or triple goals for knob. And uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, Jaja Artwork, a French guy, from for his uh, backspin mapping. My mapping is available on the DJ Tech Tools website and it's free. So let's get into my presentation. To have the complete view of your playlist, press view button which activates the only browser mode. I map the scroll function of the different layouts by pressing Shift and View, you scroll through the different layouts. Press back then turn the knob to scroll through the different playlists on the left side of the software. Validate by pressing the knob to go to the playlist detail. And to load the track, press the load button. Press back to return to playlists. If you want to open a folder, press the knob then back to explore the subfolders and validate by pressing again. To move in the advanced tab panel, press memory as well as one of the arrows on the search pad. The left arrow goes up and the right one goes down. To return to the Q tab, either navigate or press the Alt Q button. To change the deck type, Press Shift and Memory to choose the deck type you want between Track Deck, Stem Deck, Remix Deck or Live Input. By pressing Shift and Back button, you add a specific song into your preparation list. The basic functions are mapped like play and pause to go back to the start of a track press shift and play to navigate into the track press one of the arrows in the search block and turn the jog wheel platter to zoom into a track press shift and turn the load knob key change is mapped to key sync and key reset Shift and key reset removes the grid marker, as you can see. Shift and key sync store grid marker. To adjust the grid, press shift and turn the wheel side of the jog wheel. The master tempo is mapped for the key lock function. To adjust the tempo range of the tempo fader, press shift and master tempo button. You can increase or decrease the tempo range as you want between 6% and 100%. To choose which deck is the master, press shift and seek button. Let me show you. I'm going to load a track on the deck B. I press play to play both tracks. And I press shift and sync button on the deck A. 
or on deck B to choose which one is master. We have snap function by pressing quantize, quantize by pressing shift and quantize, the slip function by pressing shift and slip button, and the scratch mode by pressing slip button. I'm going to show you. When I disengage the scratch mode, I can press the platter of the drug wheel without any effect. The backspin function is possible by first disabling the scratch mode, then pressing memory, then turning the joy while pressing memory button. The sensitivity of the joy can be adjusted for a short or long effect. The load loop and play function is also available. You have to press memory and then the load knob. You need first to disable the parameter of loading only in a stop deck in the preferences. You can load a track in the preview player by pressing the Q button in the sampler section. If you press Shift and that button, you play and pause the track playing. You can set a manual loop like this. You can increase the length of the loop or decrease like that. And the both buttons are blinking in phase. And you exit the loop by pressing 4 bit loop. That button set a 8 bit loop. I prefer it. You can activate the loop in mode by pressing shift and loop in button. You can adjust the loop in point either by the arrows or by the jog wheel. You can select the length by pressing shift and one of the arrows. You can exit that mode by pressing again shift and loop in. It works as well for the loop out point. Pressing shift and the 4 bit loop button allows you to move the whole loop using the loop in or the loop out button 4 by 4 bits. You can adjust more accurately the loop in or the loop out point by using the jog wheel. I select the loop out point. Let's make a zoom. And as you can see, with the jog wheel, I can very precisely adjust the loop out point. This is a feature that can be very useful. You can multiply by 2 the BPM of a song by pressing shift and loop in or divide it by 2 by pressing shift and loop out. You need to be on the first page of the hot cue mode to have the control of the mixer knobs. Setting and removing hot cues is as you can see. I changed the colors of the hot cues except for special ones for example that one is purple but if i put here a loop it turns into green
on the second page of the hot queue mode you activate the controls of the stem if you load a stem file on page one you still have the hot cues of your track and on page two with the knobs of the mixer you can control the volume of each stem and it doesn't affect the control of EQs. In stem flavor, page 2 upper pads mute each stem. Pads of the lower row trigger the effects assignation. All the controls are mapped as well as the volume faders that trigger the job wheel lights. High, mid, and low EQs, the filter knobs as well. In hot Q mode, page one. The mixer effects are assigned to those buttons. You need to select a deck with the selector to assign one FX to one deck. It allows you to have one different effect per deck. The LEDs are orange and there are two pages. Each pad activates one effect bank in group mode and button one, two or three in single mode. Page one controls effect banks one and three and page two controls bank two and four. Shift and pressing one pad selects one effect and it's auto repeat as you can see it works for every page of the effects unit by pressing memory and a pad it selects a favorite effect that you can change in the preferences it's a quick way to have your favorite effect selected on a pad Mixer knobs command the knob of each bank of effects and it doesn't affect the normal EQs as you can see. Deck C and D control the banks 3 and 4. The filter knobs control the dry weight of each bank. By pressing shift and one of these pads, you can select either single or group mode. Nothing happens until you press one of the page selectors. The left arrow triggers the slicer mode with a zoom. Afterwards, the playback continues. You can exit the slicer mode by pressing the same arrow. You can add a loop to the slicer mode. And you can increase or decrease the size of the slice as you can see. Right arrow drives you into B jump mode. Yellow pads are minus and purple one are plus. You have got plus or minus one, four, eight or sixteen. By pressing the right arrow, the advanced tab panel focuses on the B jump tab. We come and remix deck C while staying on deck A. Not necessary to switch decks. To load a cell from a sample playlist, press search left and the pad. Trigger the cell by pressing the pad and press shift and the pad to stop the cell playing. The first row is on page one and the second row is on page two. Shift and page selector allows you to scroll through the page of the remix deck. 
each lower row has a different color from the upper one which is still the same clear cell press right search and the cell which is loaded to save a Rubik set press memory and the sampler button which opens a window that allows you to save your Rubik set to load the Remix set, go first on Remix Deck C. This is the only time you need it. And select your Remix set you want to load. And press the load button. As you can see on the screen. I load another Remix set. Then go back to Deck A to control the Remix Deck C. You can capture a loop from different sources. So the left arrow here is for deck C and the right one for deck D. So I play first a song and I will set a loop, an automatic one. I delete some cells first. I set my loop and with memory and pressing the pad, I can capture a loop from the source selected. Let me just adjust the BPM and it's all right. Shift and Hot Q button activates Q loop mode. This creates a loop from the Hot Q already present. Loop at the same length as the current one. And change the length of the loop with the search keys. You can deactivate the loop by pressing Shift and the Hot Q. By pressing and holding the pad, you trigger the macro effect, which is a combination of uh, several effects. On pad one. Beat Masher, Filter and Reverb. On pad 2, Pick Filter, Ice Verb and Gator. On pad 3, Gator, Filter 92 and Ice Verb. On pad 4, Pick Filter, Foreman Filter and Flight Test. On pad 5, filter LFO, ice verb and gator. On pad 6, my favorite one, beat masher, reverb and form and filter. On pad 7, form and filter, gator and flight tests. And finally, on pad 8, filter 92, ice verb and delay. The roll mode is activated by pressing shift and beat jump button. And each pad has a different length of loop. First of all, you can change the play mode of each pad by pressing the lower pads. This cell is in loop mode. And if I change this parameter by pressing the pad, it becomes one shot. And if I press again, it becomes loop again. And loop is in grid LED. On page 2, we have the control of the effects on the upper row. And by holding the lower pad, you can control the volume of 
each slot with the sampler volume knob. And it works independently for each remix deck, as you can see. On page one, the upper row pads allow you to queue and monitor each slot. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of my new mapping for the DGJ 1000 for Tractor. Feel free to comment and let me know if you may experience some troubles with this and good mixing. Bye.